So when I'm here, the guy ever pummels under, remember, don't let him get what he wants, okay? My right hand wants to go this way, right? But what do I need to do with my left hand? I gotta make sure my left hand makes the grip and then my right hand comes here. Shoot that, and then come in here for the guillotine. Okay, real simple attack when the guy goes here. This leg, when it chops down, it's his arm power. If his shoulder's here, I can't do this. But if it's here, John, try to lift your arm. Look, I chop down, that brings his arm down, like that. And then you shoot up and you go here. This move is also commonly attacked with an arm drag. Instead of here, you go here and you go to an arm drag. Teach me grappling. What's up guys, I've been gone for a while. Hopefully you guys had an awesome, happy Thanksgiving. Um, we've been freezing our butt off, huh, John? It's chilly over here. It's getting cold. We're in California, so all you guys out there in colder places, right now we're, we're whining about, how, how many degrees? 40. 40. 40, 40. 40 degrees is just way too cold for California. Incredible. We got lots of snow though, so that's cool. Um, all right guys, John? I don't really have a good plan, but I'm gonna, on the spot. There's a, there's a knee shield uh, attack that we can do, okay? Um, let me talk about, here, let's turn like this, the camera can see a little bit better. Okay, when you guys are in half guard and your opponent has his knee down, and I'm playing a little knee shield, John's leaning against it, he starts to learn that it's hard to smash my knee. Like, he might wanna smash like this and then Come back. And then put his hand between, like a leg weak pass. So all of this is kind of like common. So I get my position strong with my elbow on the inside of my knee. See that? And then come over here to the front. So now when John's trying to crush my knee, he can't, like he can't crush it. It's too hard. So because my knee is so out, he gets a new idea. And the idea is to take his hand and basically try to get an underhook of my leg. So instead of being here, where my shin is against his biceps shoulder area, he tries to underhook the leg. When he underhooks, he has a new passing style. Okay, so let's work, work, look at this pass style right here. He has the underhook, his goal is to hike the leg up on top of his shoulder, and then he has two directional passes on very basic. One of them is to take, get my neck, and then like drop his right hip down and take his leg out, okay? Dropping his left, I'm sorry, left hip down and then drop your right leg out, okay? Just drop your left hip and pull your right leg out, okay? And he passes with all different variations, guys. Sometimes the guy will knee slice with it, whatever. Or he's got his other move like where I block this side off and he just does like an underpass on this side where he passes the leg and he passes to this side with tons of variation. Like, details and variation we're not going over, okay, on how you do that pass. But you basically pass to the right or you pass to the left once you get under that leg. So if he pummels under my leg, I do not want his shoulder underneath my thigh, right here. So watch, come look over here. I want this space here. No, you can just come from the front. So look, here, I'm gonna take my fingers and grab onto his tricep muscle. Okay, so you can see right here, like that. I wanna keep that tricep muscle, and then my leg is braced against my wrist. So now, when John tries to lift the leg, he can't lift it, it's too heavy. He can't lift that leg, it won't move, it's not just that it's heavy, but there's also a mechanism here that's preventing my leg from going to here. And that's my grip and my arm. My leg is not gonna go through my own arm. So lift that, John. See, it's real heavy and he can't lift it. Now, the moment that he does this, or that I do this, he may think that his head wants to come this way, smashing me down, and then he's got his over under pass, stepping the leg out, and he can just pass my guard like that. So you can't just let him do that. So here's how we play. We play in the half guard, I'm playing a good knee shield. The moment that John pummels under, right here, I'm gonna take my grip 
and then I'm going to bring this hand that's blocking his arm in between his neck here. So if he tries to put his head to his right, I immediately put my hand here. Okay, now I've got two. See that? And this bone against his neck is cutting him off so that he can't shove his head to this side for the over under pass, like this. Okay, so I'm making a grip. Now go ahead and try to move your head, John. See that? Now I'm gonna straighten my arm. You see that? As I shoot it up, I'm gonna swing my leg and chop and sit up, okay? Now, during this time, because of the back take, I have an obvious back take if his head stays down. So here's what that would look like. If his head stays down, I have an obvious grip here, post my hand, hips go up, seat belt, pull him into me, and then take his back, and maybe even have an arm trapped, right? But because when I chop and I sit up, his head will come up, you're gonna shoot the guillotine. So this arm shoots around to the guillotine. You wanna come around over here? So this is my left hand that's still on his triceps. You have choices. What do you wanna do with it? Do you wanna take it and shoot it over for an arm in guillotine? Do you wanna to try to make a space and get a high elbow guillotine? I prefer the high elbow. I would much rather just have my opponent's neck instead of his arm included. But to each its own, you can do an arm in guillotine as well. Notice John's arm is still under my thigh. I don't want him to take it out. So I don't want him to take it out and start defending my guillotine. So when he's here, I'm keeping my leg tight so it's a little hard, huh? And I make my grip right away. And now look, I throw my leg over so his arm is out of the picture. And now I have a nice high elbow guillotine. And now I'm very loose right now because I don't want to hurt John's neck. But you could just squeeze and choke him very easily. I'll crunch up and squeeze and we'll get the tap. So nice little guillotine attack. So watch this again, guys. I'm playing the knee shield normal. Maybe again, classic basic attacks like Kimura's over here, right? We wanna look for that Kimura. Maybe I'm gonna pop into an underhook, all of this stuff. Well, my opponent goes under. The second he does, I'm, I make that grip so that he can't uh, lift my leg. He can't lift it. But remember, I can't let my opponent put his head over here like that. So when I'm here, I swim my hand under under his neck, and then now as I chop my leg, I'm swinging it around and wrapping up his neck. And then there it is, you can see my hand right here. I'm gonna make my grip and lock my guillotine. If you guys go arm in, you can go arm in guillotine as well and be successful. If I go arm in, I'm gonna crunch and wrap it up and squeeze. If he probably will sweep himself, you know, he'll probably fall over to his left when he starts to feel the pressure, kind of like Khabib did with Poirier. If he falls over, just go ahead and slump over. If he slumps over, go ahead and fall over, John, like you're skipping. Yeah. You can bridge up on top and mount. And then now I have the arm and guillotine. It's up to you guys if you guys think you're going to be able to finish the move or if you think you just need to let go and then come up on top and go to work. Okay? So I prefer just the neck. But if you guys want, you can play with the, the arm in if you like. I like just the neck myself. So when I'm here, the guy ever pummels under, remember, don't let him get what he wants, okay? My right hand wants to go this way, right? But what do I need to do with my left hand? I gotta make sure my left hand makes the grip and then my right hand comes here. Shoot that, and then come in for the guillotine. Okay, real simple attack when the guy goes here. This leg, when it chops down, it's his arm power. If his shoulder's here, I can't do this. But if it's here, John, try to lift your arm. Look, I chop down, that brings his arm down, like that. And then you shoot up and you can go here. This move is also commonly attacked with an arm drag. Instead of here, you go here, and you go to an arm drag, okay? As I go arm drag, I grab the hip, and then you can hip escape a little as you get your hips up. Pull the guy and get to his back right here and finish. Hopefully you get the arm trapped. Then you'll get a golden opportunity to choke him as well, okay? So go ahead, John, play a little bit like you're passing or whatever, trying to pass that knee shield, exactly. Okay, hands are tight. Maybe I'm gonna come up for the back, okay? 
So right there, John kind of, he went into defense, which some guys will. They'll go into defense. If he, if he kind of clams up, just look to take the back. If he leaves his neck open because he lifts his head, like a lot of grapplers will as well, then we're going to go, see I play here. And then now I'm going to get my elbow here. Sit up. He does it. Again, John, lift your head. Do you want to come up? Yeah. And then the neck is open. And then go here. Again, John's reaction is clam up. Some of you guys out there are going to run into the guy that clams up. Just come up for his back. You go ahead, go to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will do this reaction too. They don't want to get caught. So John's playing frame with this left hand. Elbow on the inside. There we go. Right there. And then now once I go here, his left hand makes a grip on my tricep muscle. Right near the armpit. His right hand goes right there to the neck. So that I'm kind of cut off. As he chops his leg and he sits up. No, no, not arm drag. Just shoot it around the neck for the guillotine. That's it. Now look guys, some guys are going to keep their head up like me. The reason why is they want to stay on top. And when they stay on top, you can see how John can just pummel his left hand underneath my arm and then lock the guillotine and wrap me up. And he's going to choke me out. Even if his arm comes out from between the legs, you still have a great opportunity for a guillotine. Remember, there's, a good, there's always going to be variation. So in these positions, because when you fight for real, it's never the same every single time. So these are the grips right here. Well, excuse me, I didn't go, I didn't go here yet. Oh yeah. So we're here and here. This is your grip right here. Remember, he's cutting me off from that over under pass. Okay. He wouldn't want to leave this arm over here and let me come to this side where I can just like work my leg out of half guard. So the moment I'm here and I, I can't pass, he's going to go right there. And then now go ahead and chop the leg and shoot the right arm. That's the guillotine right there. If I clam up, he can just go to the back. And then he's right there. And he's going to finish me with the rear naked. Okay? Yeah. All right. John, I know I sprung this on you. That's good. He hasn't done it. But guess what? See, every time I teach you guys, I like, I, I, I never like rehearse with my students. And I, I partly do it because... I think it's great, well one, it saves time, but two, it's great because I expose the, the, the student to the new technique just like you are being exposed, if you haven't seen this before. And then the same things that he moves, the way he moves or reacts is the same way you might move or react or your partners will move or react. So it, it kind of gives it like something like, like it's more real. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is a move that I use a ton. It really depends on your partners. Sometimes you have guys that stand up. They just go, all my partners stand up. What do I do against a guy that stands up? Some guys you'll have, they just want to smash. They heard the phrase smash pass or uh, you know, pressure passing. Guys who pressure pass, they try to underhook that leg a lot. So um, if you run into that, now you've got a quick move, you can try to snap on them, see if it works. Okay, John, what do you think? I like it. All right. This will add into my game. Did you have a good Black Friday? Actually, I did. I got did? some good deals on jackets. All right. Some uh, winter wear. All online? Online. Or did you go out and, and go online out with the masses? Online, and then I went out with the masses. Okay. Yeah. Did you see anybody get run over by like, no, a, no, no. like an 80 inch screen TV? No, no. Everybody no? Was, uh, was cooperating. Okay. Everybody good. was behaving. Yeah. Well, just go on YouTube for that. Yeah. Just look up Black Friday 2019 uh, craziness, and you'll probably find some good stuff. All right, guys, hope you're entertained. Thank you guys so much. Teach Me Grappling. Click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal. Contribute to this channel. I'm sorry I've been gone a few days. I am back. See you guys next time. Ow. Good. Thank you. Yep. John, you're getting gray hair. I know a lot. 33 now. <laughs> 33? 33. And you're already getting gray hair? Oh, my father's wizard white. He's got a bunch of white hair. Oh, damn. Getting old. Who looks, who looks younger, me or you? Me. You do. Me. Yeah. I'm old. It's because of my uh, moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> moisturizer every morning.